In this video, we're going to use the DX Virtual Network Assurance API to configure a VNA plugin using the REST calls on the API page. In a typical VNA deployment, where VNA monitors multiple virtual network technologies, VNA is installed in a distributed configuration with each VNA server hosting a single plugin specific to an SDN, NFV, or SD-WAN technology. When VNA is installed on a server, a collection of plugins are automatically installed along with VNA, but the plugins are not running until they are configured. In most cases, only one plugin is running on each VNA server, so only one of the installed plugins is configured for each server. To configure a plugin, each plugin is installed with a JSON template specific to the plugin. The template contains parameters used by VNA to connect to the virtual network. To activate the plugin, the placeholders in the template are configured with the information VNA requires to connect to the virtual network. Then the updated template is posted to the VNA server, and this starts the plugin. Once the plugin is running, the VNA server begins to collect data from the network. The data is then normalized and passed on to the subscribers, which in a typical DX NetOps deployment are the DX NetOps portal and Spectrum OneClick. To get started, we'll open a browser and open two tabs. We'll use the VNA API to configure the plugin. So in the first tab, we'll log into the DX Virtual Network Assurance API on the server that will host the plugin. To access the VNA API, the URL is the base URL of the server, followed by the port number, forward slash, VNA, forward slash. The API requires logging in using the VNA credentials defined during the VNA installation process. After logging into the API, in the second tab, we'll navigate to the VNA install documentation page. In the technology requirements section of the page, all the plugins supported by VNA are listed with links to the specific documentation pages for each plugin. In this demonstration, we'll configure a Viptela plugin, which is a very common plugin, so we'll open the Viptela plugin documentation page. The documentation page will be used as a reference when it comes time to complete the placeholders in the plugin configuration template. But it's good to note that the process covered in this video applies to all the plugins. The only difference is the parameters that are used to configure each plugin, and each documentation page provides the details for the specific parameters for each plugin. Next, we'll open a text editor. You don't have to save the text file. We just need this text editor open to copy and paste information that will be used later on in the configuration process. Now we'll switch back over to the VNA API and begin the plugin configuration process. The DX Virtual Network Assurance API provides a list of REST calls that are used to manage the VNA server and configure the VNA plugins. The REST calls are categorized under headers and clicking a header expands a list of REST calls under that category. To begin the plugin configuration process, we will call the plugin configuration template from the server. And to do this, we first need the exact name of the Viptela plugin in order to call the Viptela template from the server. So to do this, we'll expand the admin header, expand the call get v1 admin plugins, which provides a list of the plugins that are installed on the server, then click the execute button. In the response body, in the plugin name field, we'll find the Viptela plugin name and copy the name of the plugin. This name will be used in the next REST call we will use to find the plugin template. And for safekeeping, we'll go ahead and paste the plugin name in the text file as well. Next, we need to get the Viptela plugin template. So we'll expand get v1 admin plugins plugin name template. And in the plugin name field, we'll paste the name of the plugin we just copied, then click the execute button. In the response body field, the plugin template displays with the configuration parameters and placeholders for the parameter values. Next, in the response body field, select and copy the plugin template. Then paste the template into the text editor. Now that we have the template, we can fill out the parameters with the live information VNA will use to connect to the virtual network and collect data from the network. We can also consult the documentation page for guidance on how to replace the parameter placeholders with the live network information. When you configure a template, here are a few key points. The documentation provides example configuration templates, but do not use the template from the documentation. Only use the template called from the VNA server to make sure you have the most up-to-date template. Use the IP address to identify the location of the technology you connect to. Do not use the host name. Verify the domain ID is unique for each plugin. No two plugins should use the same domain ID and it may be necessary to send a copy of the template to another administrator to complete the template. Once the configuration template is completed with the live data, first copy the name of the plugin. 
The plugin name is required to post the configuration. Next, expand the call post v1 admin plugins plugin name. In the plugin name field, paste the plugin name. In the config descript field, give the plugin a meaningful description. Now, return to the text file and copy the configuration. In the engine config field, paste the updated plugin configuration copied from the text file. Then click the execute button. Clicking the execute button posts the configuration to the server, which then starts the plugin, and once the plugin is up and running, the plugin will start collecting data.